And for the next few moments, we're going to be talking about the Berkeley Golf Crabby. Now, every now and then, a soft bait comes along that just looks like it's going to get eaten by a fish. The crabby, well, it is that bait. It's a bit of a mix, a cross between a crab and a yabby, hence the name crabby. Now, if you're a predatory fish, you love all of those things. You love eating a crab and you love eating a yabby. If you're a brim, a bass, a mangrove jack, the species list is endless. Let's have a closer look. Okay, while I've got this uh, three inch crabby on the plate here, I thought I'd just run you through what it actually has on it. Now, we've got six little legs here, very, very skinny. They don't take too much at all to get swimming really, really nicely. We've also got two little flat uh, flappers on the back here, just like a crab would have his little swimming legs at the back. Uh, they'll catch every ounce of water that runs past the soft bait here and get that scent washing off them and also create a, a lot of movement, a lot of activity just through these guys here. Running down the body, obviously it's got that segmented style body like a yabby would have and right at the front, just a couple of feelers and two claws there. Uh, now if I flip him over, we'll see something a little bit different. We'll see this slightly fatter section through here. This is a keel. Okay, it's got a little extra weight to it. So that's gonna, and, and also it does uh, conform a little bit of the water as well. And that's gonna help to keep your crabby swimming this way up, so flat and nice and straight through the water column. Okay, that's just a, a little added extra there. Uh, just just to, uh, to, to, keep, to keep the crabby swimming in, in a nice straight format, which, which you gotta love, you gotta love that. Now, Something you can do to your crabby, if you've got a pair of uh, owner braid scissors or any other scissors if you like, um, is if you're fishing deep water, and it doesn't matter whether it's a, a two inch, two and a half inch or a three inch crabby, you can do this to all of them. You can actually just get your scissors in here and slice off these legs. Now, what does this do you ask, dear Reuter? And to be brutally honest, I would slice off the keel as well. Why, I hear you all screaming, you crazy, crazy man. Well, truth be known, that now we've got a much less profile soft bait. So this is gonna have a far faster drop speed. So if you're fishing deep water, you know, you might be fishing a 10, 15, 20, 25 foot, you need, you, you need your, your soft bait to get down straight away. You don't wanna be mucking around in that, that top half of the water because you know, obviously you need to be on the deck where the fish are. By cutting the legs off it and a little bit of the belly, You've modified it, yes, but you've also made it sink a bit faster. So there you go, a little modification. I don't know if I'd quite go as far as to chop his little claws off, because now I don't know what that looks like. Maybe it looks like uh, a maggot with legs. I don't know, actually. No, now it looks like a maggot, but you wouldn't go that far. Well, you might, probably not though. Now there's nothing overly complicated about retrieving the old crabby. Standard lift and jig retrieve. Cast it out, let it touch the bottom and then hop, 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 hop. Couple of turns of the handle, let the bait retouch the bottom and then do it again. Hop, 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 turns of the handle, retouch the bottom with the soft plastic or soft bait and continue that retrieve all the way to your feet. Another one which might work, depending on your situation, where you're fishing, what you're fishing for, is you might want to do a shake and retrieve. Pop that out, let it sink down to where you think you need to start your retrieve, and then turn the handle and shake the rod tip. But you're going to want to stop every five to 10 seconds or so to allow your soft bait to retouch the bottom. Don't forget, it's a crab or a yabby. They don't swim a long way. So keep your retrieves short and sharp. Well, there it is, the Berkeley Gulp Crabby in all its leg and claw encrusted glory. Next time you're in your local tackle store, check out the color selection. Think of a fish species that you know likes to eat crabs or yabbies. Give them a go, I'll see you on the water. <laughs>